Since I was a child, I had a dream. A dream about fascinating, complex, cool machines that would become part of our everyday life. Robots have captured the imagination of mankind for centuries. On the 4th of April, 2009, in Edinburgh, we got a glimpse of what the future holds for us. It's four days to go before the start of the 2009 Edinburgh International Science Festival. Its opening show, an expo of the latest robot technology, starring the world's most advanced humanoid robot, Asimo. We were approached initially by Simon Gage, the director of the Edinburgh International Science Festival, about the possibility of bringing Asimo to Edinburgh. Clearly, Asimo is a big celebrity. My name is uh, Setu Vijay Kumar, and I'm the professor of robotics. The research lab behind Asimo has very strong ties and links with Edinburgh, in particular my lab and some of my students. So that's a long-standing relationship that we have enjoyed with Honda. So I'm Raki Kumar, and I am project manager for the Asimo show. Hello. And working with Raki, a crack team of experienced science festival show makers. We have Peter Scott. He is also the production manager for the entire Edinburgh International Science Festival. Hello. All 175 events that they have going on across Edinburgh over the next two weeks. All of their AV requirements. I'm in McCune Hall at Bristol Square. That's not going to get closed off, eh? Like that happens so you can't f steal. <laughs> Asimo is one of the biggest shows. Hello. We expect to have capacity audiences. Aya, can you phone me back in five minutes unless it's urgent? So we happen to have a lot of his time and attention. The demo's going to be linked to a laptop. And the third one will be another wee table they can push you. Where do you want your end point for your network cable? I would say that Peter is um, a man who can. He's a constantly busy man. Hi, Ruth again. Yes, yeah. We're going to check the sight lines, we're getting the image worked out. The only drama we've had so far is we've got a parking ticket, so it's all kind of coming together. So, as you and Sean Luke, they look after the technical requirements of ASIMO. In two or three days, you'll speak fluently French. <laughs> we will first install the stairs. For Asimo, every new venue is a new environment to negotiate. Problem? Potential. Potential problem. Potential problem. There, it's not bouncing. Yes. Here, it's bouncing. And then, totally out. solid. They so have a six axis sensor in each feet. We will notice something. How will they react? We are all curious to see. <laughs> My name is Zoe. Zoe has an incredible talent for, for making people cooperate with her. Um, yeah, house likes to be good because they're still doing the measurement. Oh. Incredibly diplomatic but incredibly efficient. The static point is from that front row. For sure, as in my walk. <laughs> making sure they've got everything they need. One is in the stairs. There are inevitable changes. This has changed considerably. We're just going to keep making changes right up until, you know, five minutes to show time. Yeah. Oh, the mother of God. We've got the university demo guys coming in. This is uh, really the first time I've been inside of McEwen Hall and I was impressed by the scale. 
when we realised we had Mickey Hall as a venue, we were absolutely delighted. We're trying to bring the latest technology into a place which is deep in history. Mickey Hall has the kind of theatre and the history. A very big contrast between the modern and the old. The pictures from our camera will be scooting down the cable there and then onto the screen up there. Hi, my name's Fran and I am going to be Setu's co-presenter, sidekick. Hannes and Ian are PhD students. Stefan and I are postdocs. Enthusiastic, hardworking, committed, and probably slightly bemused students. With the volunteers, many in the demos. We should all get a copy of the script. This one here, first demo. So I'm working on uh, developing a robotic prosthetic hand, trying to add a sort of a, a sense of touch, basically. Great. Welcome to the opening weekend in Edinburgh International Science Festival. The Kinect 4 robot has created some anxiety within us. So, but getting the system to work is really a challenge. Too bright. The whole calibration of the visual system needs consistent lighting. The demo is usually done in classroom. Increase the contrast and that's it. The spotlights we brought into the production are confusing the robot. It does this problem too. It's very hard to predict what's going to happen. The actual algorithm can fail. You in charge of the demos tomorrow. If it goes wrong, everyone will be looking at you. What? This is the one which gives us the most headache at the moment. You're going to be around anyway, right? I'm away on Saturday. I'll kill you if you're away on Saturday. You're in charge of the demos. never had a problem with the... Without the light. That's what I was saying. You guys are going to give me a breakdown. There is a breakdown. It should go well, but... Obviously, improvise, but doesn't. Well, let's try to fix more with, with the actual lighting. So then I will test the shoes. Since I was a child, I had a dream.